Weapons roasting on an open fire. Seems like it's that time again. Just kidding. We're uh, we're, we're roasting some weapons. It's been like what? Uh, a good month? It doesn't matter. We're roasting weapons now. Have fun. The 52 gal is the ultimate test of internet connection speed. If you land two hits and your enemy is still alive, then congratulations, you've learned what gal spells backwards. The Aerospray PG is rated PG for, oh god, please don't, please don't let it be poop gun again. Uh, oh, we're, we're gonna look guys. Poor gun. Okay, we can take that. It's, uh, it's, it's not the best. It is a pretty poor gun. One day, I'll splat an opponent. Five shots must connect someday, right? That's what the Aerospray mains say to comfort themselves after that losing streak. In hard times like these, after the cease of Splatfests, in a world where MPU Kensa Pros dominate ranked, the only thing that I can take solace in is the fact that Aerospray mains exist for me to battle against. Thank you, Aerospray mains, for giving me quick knockouts to brighten my day. The baller? <laughs> it's like a hamster ball. It stands for bawling into tears. Wow, <laughs> it's really accurate that it's called the bamboozler, because their mains have been bamboozled so many times into <laughs> thinking that their weapon could actually be viable. The bamboozler is so useless that only Captain Cuttlefish used it, like, 50 years ago. Blah blobber? More like blob. Blob, dare I say it, blob, sobber, I, I cry when I use it. Ah, uh, the bomb rush. The only thing you need to rush is how fast you can quit the game. Because once you encounter one of these, you're gonna disconnect before any of those bombs even hit you. Carbon roller mains are like certain spiders. They can be terrifying, but most of them are... <laughs> pretty harmless. Uh, you know the weapons that have crayons on them? You know, uh, those sharpies for children? Yeah, Clash Blaster. I, I swear, I'm, I'm not gonna do a joke. I just wanted to let out my hate for dynamos. They are dyna. E-leaders take so long to charge that I can splat all their opponents and come up behind them by the time they're done charging. So, <laughs> congratulations on wasting all your precious money on a weapon that takes a lot longer to charge than your phone. <laughs> the Explosher? More like the, you're too slow. Sure. So, you decided to use a jet squelcher. <laughs> congratulations. You're now cursed and will only be able to engage end zaps and rollers at their own optimal range. The only thing that Kensa Octobrush mains are stamping are the trade documents they constantly fill out. Uh oh, uh oh guys, we got a we got a real saucy one here. Kensa Splattershot Pro. More like Kensa Splattershot get good. Got him. Did you know that the Luna Blaster's name actually does have a meaning? I won't hold you in suspense. It's saying how far away they need to stay away from ranked. The moon. Oh, <laughs> oh no, you're a, an Octobrush user, huh? Man, wouldn't it just be a shame if I, you know, walked a few steps backward from that Torna ink you're flinging? Wouldn't the simplest counter in all of multiplayer gaming be so devastating to you? Oh. It is? Alright. Dead? Dead? Wh 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 where's the rodent spray? We need to get these Neo Splooshes out of ranked right now. The 7 in Sploosh 7 doesn't stand for the skill it needs to be used. No, 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 no. It's also technically the 7th kit for the Sploosh. Because the 3rd, the 4th, the 5th, and the 6th kits are so bad that they never even got into production. Oh my god, I can't believe... Hallie, Hallie, how did you learn the trade secrets? You're not really supposed to know those. Could you, uh, could you please put those blueprints back before you leave? Thank you. Thank you, Vic, for playing the Splooshomatic so I don't have to. Uh, I, I like the sprinkler, because when there's no one to squid party with, the sprinkler can spin and loop and pretend to be my friend. Look, look, 
both squiffers and blah blahers are in one category. They clean things, they're annoying to use, they're annoying for the enemy team, and, of course, you always do bad with them. Stingray is the kind of dog that would act fierce, but really only nibbles on your fingers. Annoying, yet does jack squat. Tentabrellas are good walls to hide your C ranks behind. If we were to count my deaths, it would add up to every shot a Tentamistler took. <sighs> the Vanilla Slosher. Oh no, how, uh, how do I make fun of the, the, the Vanilla Slosher? I don't know how good it is. I barely know anyone who uses that weapon. Oh. Well, uh, <laughs> there's your roast, I guess. <laughs>